Last I heard, he was in jail. As if the government's just gonna let a guy with skills like that rot in prison. I guess he did a few extra legal favors for Uncle Sam, helped remove a troublesome dictator or two, and got himself an early release. Now he's helping out. I trust you have not forgotten me, Batman. Azrael. Dark days are here, Batman. The prophecy has come true. From the ashes of Arkham City, the fires are raging, and Gotham is burning. What do you want? I can see that same fire in your eyes. Before this night is through, that fire will consume you. Gotham will need a new savior, a new guardian, a new Batman. I'm not finished just yet. You cannot carry this burden forever. I have studied you for a long time. You have a code. You will not kill. Then neither shall I. The Order has foreseen it. The time has come to pass the mantle to another warrior. To me. If you can prove your abilities, when the time is right, I'll consider it. But first, you must show you are worthy. As you wish. Complete the challenge without getting hit to prove you are worthy. Azrael's waiting on the Gambi's store rooftop. He deserves another chance to prove himself. I am ready to try again. You're ready. Your face will be dust. I have failed you. We go again. Stronger than I thought. Signal me when you're ready to be challenged again. Sir, I've captured Azrael's performance. Good work, Alfred. Run the usual physiological tests. Then am I to understand you are considering him as your successor? None of us know what will happen after tonight. I'll be in touch. I'm going to search the city's rooftops for Azrael's burning bat symbol. Let's see if he's ready. But I don't get it. What's in it for Wayne? 
Is that contact tax deductible or something? Are crapping their pants, but the new boss won't let him go. Oh, -ho! this is like Arkham City. We've got the whole damn place to ourselves. Whose idea was it to set up underneath this damn plant? What's your problem? Ivy's dead. We're safe. Just imagining what one of those vines could do. Someone killed, mutilated, and posed a body on Merchant Bridge. If I'm going to stop them, then I need to investigate the crime scene for clues. Alfred, I found the mutilated body Cash was talking about. I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. Deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis, a birth defect. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads Ophelia. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alfred, the victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. 
The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. The killer is mutilating and posing his victims and then putting them on display. He left opera music playing at the crime scene. He wants them to be found. Alfred, I found another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Then it appears Gotham does indeed have a serial killer in its midst. And here I was thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. Twenty years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary. A small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. Remnants of a pacemaker fitted through the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis, a rare and debilitating condition. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Franklin Ocardo. His records are a litany of drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. A significant detail, sir. So are these words written beside the bodies. Try and find a connection between the two victims I've found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir. Switching off, not for one second. Thing damn near electrocuted me when I picked it up. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade.
The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark, quite distinctive. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. Alfred, I found a fourth victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. All we can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity. The victim is fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. That piece of evidence has been identified. I need to keep looking. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Salacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each went missing near state parks or playing fields. Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it. <laughs> Alfred, I've found a fifth victim. I feared you would, sir. The position of this scar indicates the victim underwent surgery to remove one of their kidneys. A plate made of tantalum, used here for a cranial fracture, most probably the result of a boxing accident. The victim's callous knuckles would only be acquired by a professional fighter. The scan of that distinguishing feature is already complete. There'll be more to find. This wound is relatively fresh, inflicted while the victim was still alive. Abrasion to the epidermal layers confirms the somewhat crude removal of a tattoo. Alfred, the victim's name is Ella Montgomery. Mm. It appears the kidney was donated to a twin sister who unfortunately died. This seems to have been the catalyst for her boxing pursuits, and hence the cranial injury. She went missing in Huntsville, Alabama. Do the details of the disappearance match with the others? 
They do indeed, sir. Also, your request to cross-reference the parks and playing fields has proved fruitful. I've come across some leasing documentation that appears to have been falsified. Someone is attempting to cover their tracks. Find out anything you can, Alfred. We couldn't have done anything to prevent these deaths, but we can still save others. I've discovered another body. Six victims, Master Bruce. When will this nightmare end? Tracheal surgery to remove a cancerous growth has resulted in the victim being fitted with a voice box. The victim suffered a rare genetic disorder, causing them to have six fingers on one hand. That particular type of bleaching to the pigmentation of the skin denotes a chemical burn most likely a chlorine-based substance. Alfred, the victim's name is Allison Weirs. Hmm. She was an engineer employed at Ace Chemicals. That would certainly explain some of her ailments. She moved into a retirement home in Bloodhaven several years ago. Their grounds are adjacent to a large park. Cross-reference this with the others. See if it fits. It does indeed, sir. Sending you the information now. The Circus of Strange. Its route recently took it through all the locations where the victims went missing. Get me a list of associated names. The circus is run by a rather suspicious fellow named Laszlo Valentin. Search for any properties owned or leased by the suspect. Records show Mr. Valentin used to lease a beauty salon here in Gotham, but the lease expired shortly before construction began on Wayne International Plaza. Send through the location. It's time to end this. Laszlo Valentin. He's killed six people, Alfred, but no more. It's time to pay a visit to his beauty parlor. Be careful, sir. The man is unhinged, even by Gotham standards.
You're done here, Valentine. Let them go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Pig, not ready yet. <laughs> She's all unique and wrong. All messed up, inside out. Pig, make her better. Pig, make all of us better. It's over. But Pig can fix you too. Make you perfect. Like the others. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> and what are you? I'm here to stop you. Bad. 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 <laughs> Pig is like clay. Pig is like a god. Pig is here to fix us all. Stay down. Destroy him, my darlings, and remember that he loves you. <laughs>
until I've rescued the other victims. Batman, please! is sacred ground, heathen. You do not belong here. But God has sent you so that I may bathe in your blood, too. My children, the devil comes clad in black. Slay him where he stands. Quickly, the time of sacrifice draws near. Him good. I'm 
Immortality. Don't do this, please! Son, I've faced death more times than you can possibly imagine. I'll still be here when you're dead and gone, Batman. Gotham will be mine. Spare me this sermon. What took you? I'm kidding. Looks like I got my story. This is it, Batman. This could get me back in the game. My own show. Hey, first guest, how about it? The real Batman. Your story! I'm taking you back to GCPD. You're stepping into my church now, Deacon. Look around you, Batman. Look at what you seek to protect. Gotham is fallen. Why are you still fighting? This is over. I say when it's over, Blackfire. Take him down to the cells. Hey, don't look too pleased to see me, officer. I won't. I am ready for another challenge. Try again. Go. You're gonna need a wheelchair when I'm done with you. You have shown great skill. I'll return when you're ready for the next challenge. No matter how difficult the test, I will prevail. Another competent display, sir. He was clearly studying your techniques closely during his time in Arkham City. Initial tests show he is employing an almost identical fighting style to your own. It takes more than that to defend this city, Alfred. Agreed. I'll collect the data from this encounter and compile it with the first. Let me know if you need anything else, sir. You think that's bad? I had salad for lunch. I kept thinking, can she bring it back? Challenge me again, Batman. I am ready.
You're a competent warrior, but one final challenge awaits you. Contact me when you're ready. Be prepared for my victory when I return. He's nothing if not persistent, sir. Huh? You still don't seem convinced. Just keep compiling the data, Alfred. It might interest you to know I've been researching the insignia on Azrael's armor, and it appears to bear the motif of the Sacred Order of Saint Dumas. The order dates back several hundred years. They have a sworn mission to protect Gotham, but records are scarce, with many speculating their existence was nothing more than a myth. Good work, Alfred. See what else you can find. I am ready to face your final challenge. It's the toughest yet. Focused. to be commended, Azrael. You have passed the test. I will contact you when I have made my decision. There is no decision to make, Batman. I am ready now. I decide how this works, not you. Every moment you waste, Gotham falls deeper into the abyss. Make your decision fast, or she will be lost forever. Sir, we have a positive ID on Azrael. His real name is Michael Lane. He was a GCPD officer before he was dismissed due to psychological issues. And then, well, he seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth. That must have been when he was recruited by the Order of saint Dumas. It gets decidedly more peculiar, sir. The bad computer has picked up an irregularity in Lane's physiology. I've not seen anything like this before. Upload the data to the clock tower. I can analyze it from there. Right you are, sir. It's a surgically implanted microprocessor interfacing with the temporal lobe, the region of the brain used for storing and accessing memories. Which memories, sir? Visualizing now. Azrael, protector of faith, defender of purity. The Order of San Dumas has safeguarded Gotham for over 500 years, and it is your sworn duty to continue our legacy. You have studied the Dark Knight for years, learning his every strategy, analyzing his every tactic, perfecting his every move. Now it is time to complete your mission. Seek out the Batman. Prove that you are his worthy and trusted successor. Only when you have won the Batman's trust, 
will you be able to fulfill your destiny? His intentions do seem pure, sir. Are you suggesting these recollections have been tampered with? I am. Alfred, I know this symbol from Arkham City. It's the Order's sacred language. They've implanted markers into Lane's memories to modify his behavior unconsciously. If I can find the other markers, I'll be able to reconstruct the waveform and reveal the message. Scanning that marker has reconstructed part of the waveform. It's working. I didn't find anything there. I need to scan the markers. Another portion of the waveform has been restored. I've already analyzed this section. I have to look carefully. The markers are here, hidden in the memories. Almost there. There's probably one more marker to find and scan. That's it. The waveform is complete. This should reveal the message. The Dark Knight stands in the way of our cause. He prevents the evil of Gotham from facing true divine justice. When you have proven yourself, wait for your moment and then strike him down. Take your rightful place as Gotham's new guardian. A guardian wholly willing and relentless in his quest to protect this city. They certainly don't mince their words, do they, Master Bruce? How will you stop him? He won't. Lane. Lane is dead. I am Azrael, knight to the Order of San Dumas. The Order has lied to you, stolen your free will. Liar! You stand in the way of true justice! We're on the same side, Michael. No. No! I know who I am. I know what I am doing. In that case, the choice is yours. Protector of faith, you know what must be done. The Dark Knight must be slain. You are compelled to execute our commands. The blade calls to you, Azrael. It's one true master. You have taken the sword. Use it. Strike down the Batman. Kill him. He stands in your way. Gotham will be yours. It didn't have to end like this, Michael. The choice was always yours.
have existed for centuries. They have more right to this city than you ever will. They know what is required to defeat the forces of evil. Your method has become tainted by that evil. And now they have you, Michael. No better than the monsters you fight. Move it, Lane. Make the most of this victory. Your time is over, Batman. Gotham's evil has flourished under your reign. The wicked have prospered and the innocent condemned. A higher power is called for. Divine justice will be wrought upon us all. Sir, the preparations are complete. Nightfall is ready. I will leave it for you to decide when it's time to come home. Thanks, Alfred. Let me know how the brain works out for you. inside that suit had to be messed up. Guess that's what happens when you get your parents killed. Alfred, send the Batwing. I'm heading to the GCPD rendezvous point. Very well, sir. Vicki Vale for GCN reporting live outside Wayne Manor following the dramatic unmasking of billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne. saw Bruce Wayne, now known to be the masked vigilante Batman, enter his home, refusing to come.
This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. Thank you.